Hey friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Today I've got something very special, the 2014 Cadillac CTS V Sport. This is the highest performance Cadillac CTS sedan you can buy for 2014 in the new body style. And really, it's one of the last high performance luxury sedans you can get from an American brand at any price. After all, Lincoln gave up this game many years ago and Chrysler will tell us that they're really becoming more of a mainstream brand rather than a luxury one. So that leaves this CTS to compete against cars like the BMW 5 Series, the Lexus GS, Mercedes E-Class, and perhaps the Audi A6. So my question is, does it pull it off? Styling is the latest evolution of Cadillac's art and science theme, which has softened its edge in some ways over the years. A caveat in the mix is that while less edgy, it brings more of a Cadillac signature heritage to light. By that I mean things like the signature LED driving lights, which when on, from a distance give the ghosted appearance of the fence post chrome outlines of the first Cadillac Eldorado, which was such a distinctive look back in the day. At the rear, the LED tail lamps also shape themselves as a mock of tail fin, ever just so slightly enough that it pages your brain to the 60s and 70s. Remarkably, the stylists have pressed your nostalgia buttons without being overtly retro. It is to be noted that this CTS has grown in size over the last generation, now truly sinking its toes naked into the sandy beach of its competition I named at the outset. And in terms of style, I think the CTS has matured to be well at home here in this latest generation. The interior is where my stylistic eye got a little bit more critical. The CTS is available with generous selections of leather color, authentic wood trims, and so many technical features. The lavish chrome trim seemed the only throwback to Americana which I could have passed on. The driver gets Cadillac's new patented safety alert seat, which provides a strong vibration and alert from systems like the blind spot minder, lane departure warning, and the radar based crash avoidance system. Our CTS had the standard small screen LCD gauge cluster which has traditional dials around it. It was easy enough to read, the center screen features access through the steering wheel mounted buttons and paddles. A full digital version is available as an option. The steering wheel itself had not only paddle shifters for the 8-speed automatic transmission but highly polished magnesium paddle shifters. On the console was a drive mode selector which offers up some genuine Jekyll and Hyde personality differences in the car as well. Getting to the console and center stack here is where the CTS took a notably futuristic bent with power operated features like the cup holder cover. Above it is a similarly power operated storage area door which opens and closes at your touch like the cup holder cover. The entire center stack known as the Cadillac User Experience or Q has no buttons or knobs. Instead you have a slab of shiny black plastic backlit with graphics which represent buttons. There you touch the lit graphics to control things like HVAC and audio functions, even the glove box door. Your touch is meant by a vibration that signals your command has been met with action. It takes some getting used to and requires a practice touch to use well. With this interior, I do have some opinions. First of all, this safety alert seat, creepy. The first time I got in this car and sat in this chair and it went off on me, I thought I was getting a cattle prod. It scared the living daylights out of me. First thing I wanted to do was turn the darn thing off. And luckily, it does have an off switch. You can go into the system and you can choose chimes instead, which is a little more subtle in my opinion. Now, the other thing is, is this Q system, not fun at all. It's this touch sensitive, tactile feel thing. Um, you don't have real buttons, and while you're in a parking lot, it's one thing to try to use them. But when you're on the road, especially in a car like this, it's just a lot of distraction and it takes a lot of extra work that just isn't necessary. What they really ought to do is take the people who design these awesome buttons over here on the door panel, turn them loose on the dash. If they did that, it would be tops. I mentioned the switches on the door panel because they were characteristically different from anything on the dash, in a good way. Their material was top-notch satin black with metal accents, their action felt very German in touch, and they looked the part of a $60,000 plus car. Alas, it's what's under the hood that I imagine most of you want to hear about. The CTS V-Sport has Cadillac's first twin turbocharged V6 engine. It's a tour de force of the latest technologies from direct injection to variable valve timing. 
The 3.6 liter V6 has 420 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque and turns the rear wheels through an 8-speed automatic transmission. Unlike the CTS-V of years prior, this one is not available with the manual transmission. Well, the big question is, how do it go? It go. Power is explosive. And this 8-speed automatic, well, it does what you tell it. Rev match downshifts, immediate upshifts, and there's no turbo lag. Mm. And just a wonderful, wonderful power band. I'm not missing the V8 at all here. Downshifting into a corner, it's giving it to me. That's what daddy likes. The CTS V Sport will accelerate from 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds according to Cadillac and also achieve up to 24 mpg on the highway with an average combined mpg of 18. You might have noticed on that last little interlude how awesome this engine actually sounds. It's almost as if it's digitally mastered. Well, the truth is, it is. This has a system that Cadillac builds as Psycho Acoustics. Think about that for a minute. Psycho Acoustics. Kind of funny sounding, but the reality is it's a system that takes the engine sounds and enhances them through a digital processor right here in the Bose sound system. And so what you get is a sound that might not be entirely real, but it does sound very good. And this car guy, well, I kind of like it. Mm. I just wish I could turn the volume up. All this psycho talk might overshadow some of what I really think the takeaway from the CTS V Sport is. This of course is its most well-tamed chassis behavior. It not only handles, it's fun to drive in the rewarding way a BMW used to be. Its magnetic ride control, fully independent multi-link rear suspension and huge Brembo brakes all do their spec sheet entitled job to control the power output of this car. It's the fact that the CTS achieves it with a level of refinement and finesse not previously known to American sedans that really has me impressed. Lastly, you might be impressed to know that we actually achieved some 22 mpg combined in our week with the CTS V Sport, a full 4 mpg more than promised despite all of our prodding of the psychoacoustic qualities of this engine. Wrapping it up for the CTS V Sport, I have to say I really think GM has nailed it. They've got the engine and transmission, the chassis dynamics, steering, brakes, handling, all of it is just an absolute joy. This car, in my opinion, is every bit as good as anything from Japan or Germany. Now, if it just had a dash and interior out of something from Japan or Germany, this car would have five stars and definitely be on my I'd buy it list for this year. But I just can't get down on the Star Wars dash. The Q system is just a little bit too much for me. So this week I give it four out of five stars. I'm Sam Haymar for Test Driven TV. I hope you enjoyed the ride.